You know, what we noticed in the space was that trading was really exciting for people and that was how they were coming into crypto. But at the same time, in 2018, a lot of people were losing money. And so we had this interest, but also this high risk. And so we wanted to bridge the two. So we made it fun and easy for people to learn by making a game where they could practice and learn trading, yep. completely risk-free because it's simulated. And the best part is that they win real crypto prizes so that they could actually start trading with it, right? So there's no risk. <laughs> The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trader Cobb Crypto Show. It's proudly sponsored by zipmax.com.au. Go and check him out. I've got with us the lovely Cynthia, who's the CEO and founder of Altcoin Fantasy, which is basically a gamification for traders, right? Yeah, exactly. Lovely to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having me, and I'm so glad I got to meet you here. Well, look, let's do this. Explain to us what it's all about and how it works. So we are a crypto trading simulation game. And you know what we noticed in the space was that trading was really exciting for people and that was how they were coming into crypto. But at the same time, in 2018, a lot of people were losing money. And so we had this interest, but also this high risk. And so we wanted to bridge the two. So we made it fun and easy for people to learn by making a game where they could practice and learn trading, yep. completely risk-free because it's simulated. And the best part is that they win real crypto prizes so that they could actually start trading with it, right? So there's no risk. Okay, okay. I need to understand this concept better clearly. There's no risk. No risk. So it's a game. Yeah. And I can win crypto. Exactly. What sort of prize pools are we talking about here? At least $500 US every week, but often more because we work with partners and they give away really, really sweet prizes like, you know, crypto, um, memberships, trading vouchers, just uh, so many different things. Wow, and yeah. how long have you been around for? So we started uh, 2018, so right after the crash, perfect timing. Yep, so, so did we, welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was great though, because it was, you know, because there was a lot of the noise and, you know, the bad projects had gone away, we had to build. And so it was great, we got to meet amazing people yeah. who were just really, you know, interested in adoption, wanted to push the industry forward and not yep. build bad projects. And so uh, we started last year and just, it's been a crazy, crazy ride, like just amazing. How's adoption been going for you guys? I mean, have you have you got a bunch of users on there? Do they play against each other or? Yeah, so they play against each other. You know, in our main competitions, we have about anywhere from, we've had as many as 30,000 people compete. Yeah, so we wow. have uh, over 150,000 players on our site. And then uh, they can compete one against one, which is yep. pretty cool. And then we're building in game, more game mode so that it's even more social and interactive. So I should challenge you, actually. Challenge me? Yeah. Duel. I, I feel like I got to get some bragging rights. Like, oh, did you know I beat Trader Cobb? Well, then I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so in these one-on-one type tournaments, yeah. right, um, it, it, do, are they just playing for the hell of it, for the fun of it? Is there prize in that? Or, or is that sort of to practice, to get ready for the next tournament, so to speak? Both. Okay. So, you know, obviously, you get bragging rights, but we do give away um, points basically, or sometimes real crypto, yep. because we want to make it rewarding for people to yep. learn. Because I think that's the missing piece is um, you know, you have these demo accounts on exchanges, but one, it's not fun, you're playing against yourself, so yeah. it's kind of boring, but also there's no feedback loop, right? There's no reward loop, so that's what we're trying to do. And people love games, like the gaming industry has become so huge. You know, think about everybody on their phones, yep. so we think that that's really the way into people's hearts is through games. Well, you look at it now, you've got a uh, big industry, you've got cannabis, right? Yep. You've I'm from gaming. Canada, so well, yeah. Well, yeah, you know what's, you know what's <laughs> going on. You've got cannabis, you've got gaming, and you've got blockchain. Yep. Uh, they're the three big ones right now where there's a lot of focus on technology. Exactly, yeah. You kind of combine two together. Yeah. We just got to bring in cannabis next. <laughs> well, well, I think many, maybe many of the players are actually smoking cannabis I'm at probably, the same time that yeah. they're playing. I don't know if they're in a legal place, <laughs> or a legal state in the US, or well, not at all in Australia, apart from Canberra. So there's you got to come visit. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Um, so what else is going on? I mean, obviously the games have been running, the product's working, mm -hmm. you've got over 150,000 registered players, it sounds like it's really taking off. How do you go from, like, where do you go from here? Is it just making more plays, bigger prize pools, or is there other things you wish to add? So, you know, definitely that, obviously we're always focusing on growing our user base and just 
Our main focus though is really driving crypto adoption yeah. because what's happening is that there's a lot of focus on the technology and you know of course that's really the backbone of crypto and blockchain is it's gonna the technology is gonna change our future and how we do things. But I think there's this huge lack of focus on consumers, right? Because you have this amazing technology, but who's going to use it? And so you need to get people to be interested in it. And that's what we're trying to do is drive adoption in a fun way so that people, you know, even outside of the trading, even if you don't want to become a trader, yeah. you're interested, you want to keep coming, you want to keep learning. So there's an the entertainment value, which is I think how we're going to get mainstream adoption to happen. And is it simulating the markets? Or like, I want to understand the games side of it. Is it a market yeah. simulation type thing? Or? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you're trading in real time, basically. Yeah. So what we do is we use real order book prices, real market data so that it's real time pricing. You're trading, you know, minute to minute. Um, you get the same experience as if you're trading on an exchange, but you don't risk losing your life savings. Well, that's yeah. a handy thing to do. Where are your, um, where are your players coming from for the most part? Is there any region that you're finding to be uh, much more accessible? Uh, so we have a global user base. We actually have at least one user from every single country around the world, which is pretty cool. Wow, that's yeah. cool. So uh, 200 countries, there's only officially 195 or 197 yeah. recognized countries, yeah. but uh, we have so basically someone from everywhere, which is pretty cool. Wow, and is there any area you're focusing on because there's more gamers? I, I mean, I, yeah. I, I don't really know these things, but I'm genuinely wanting to know right, right. where do the gamers live? Uh, I think they're actually all over, but you know our user base is primarily North America, Europe, and then Asia. And I think Asia because you know there's just so much excitement from people about the space, about what crypto can do. Because you have people who traditionally haven't had access to finance, yeah. and you know we hear from our users all the time. We're so excited about crypto because it's going to give us you know more financial freedom that we've never been able to have before, and that's just really cool. And so we're really excited because we can be a part of that. You know yeah. we can give people an opportunity to start learning. And trading and you know can you imagine someone wins crypto from us they go on to an exchange and they make you know however yeah. much and yeah. now all of a sudden they can quit their job like that's yeah. just so amazing and then you know that's the same thing that you guys are trying to do yeah. right yeah we're trying yeah. to teach people and empower people give them the information but exactly. i love the way you're doing it because you're bringing people in through it's, it's basically like okay i don't know what i'm doing mm -hmm. but i'm going to try but you don't have to have any money to try exactly and yeah. is there education not bother i mean how, how are you empowering people to learn how to do this be it that they're trading with real money or not so we have content you know we have articles talking about crypto and yep. blockchain and just very simple concepts our focus is on people who are very new to the space so if you don't have a technical background you don't understand anything techie you can still understand because we use very simple plain language we've actually partnered with coin market cap to do some content as oh, well right. which we're really excited about but uh, we also have a video series and of course you know we're hoping to help work with you guys because be we'd great. love to get your content on our platform because you guys are doing really awesome things i love the free resources that you have and of course like you know you have such an experienced background in trading and that's what we need right perfect yeah. look if i haven't missed anything is there anything else that's happening that we need to speak of because uh, after that i'm going to tell them where to go <laughs> yeah so um one thing that's very very exciting for us coming up yep. is that uh, data dash and i are or and us are doing a charity trading competition oh cool yes yeah, so how this works is that we're going to put up prizes for the competition yep. and we're hoping to attract as many people as possible to come and make donations and then we're also working with a lot of partners in the space to give donations because you know i think traditionally the the messaging around crypto has been there's a lot of scammers a lot of bad actors in the space but yeah, you know we want to change that we we want to help people, we want to do good in the world. And I think we need to start seeing more of that. And so we're going to start with the first annual crypto trading competition. So hopefully, you know, we get tons of tons of people to come in and make donations and play and learn and just have fun. Sounds amazing. So how do they people find out more about the project and yourself and getting into this competition? So you can visit us at altcoinfantasy.com. We're on all social medias. Just look us up, Altcoin Fantasy. Um, I'm on Twitter and LinkedIn, so feel free to reach out to me. And then if you ever have any questions, please shoot us a message and we're happy to respond and try and help you. So hope to see you there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. This is awesome. Cynthia, the CEO and founder of Altcoin Fantasy. You know what to do, go and check it out and have a fantastic day. Bye thank for you now. so much. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.